Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Aidan. I'm Gaina. I'm Sophie. And today we've got 11 words Americans love asking Brits to say. <laughs> so where are you going to say them? There were so many that we used to ask, have to be uh, asked time and time again. Can like, you say aluminum? <laughs> yeah, we, we call it aluminium. 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 That'll probably be up there now. And, they'll, and they say <laughs> aluminum. Aluminum. That's weird, I And also a lot of words. Oh, it's just so different. Yeah. Like, how, how is it the same? Same word, but like there's so many like there's a different way to pronounce it. I don't yeah. know. And also, they, they they seem to put a D in anything that didn't have a a D in it. Like if, if it was a T, they 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 say a D. Yeah. Yeah, like water. We'd say water. And they go water. 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 And, oh, yeah. and water. butter. Butter. Say, butter. 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 Huh? Surely they know. No, they don't. Because if an American came over and said, please don't put butter on my... It's not like I'm yeah. going to look at them like, what did you say? Yeah, you yeah honestly, I mean? they have. Yeah. First of all, they looked at me as if, why would you put butter on your sandwich? Yeah, because they don't put butter on bread, no. do they? Really? Yeah. Like, yeah. And also, they don't put cucumber... If, you, if we have a sandwich, we would have, let's say, ham, lettuce, tomato, cucumber. I certainly wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> I probably wouldn't either, but... But they looked at me really strange when I oh, said Oh yeah, I'm with cucumber. the Americans on this one. <laughs> they were like, you've got cucumber on a sandwich? Mm -hmm. like, we have cucumber sandwiches. Yeah, yeah which, is do, just, do. which is just fresh butter and cucumber. Oh, yeah. not for me. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's grim. They cut into anyway. triangles with a pot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's look. we're yeah. going to say every 11 words that they yeah. say, so... You can hear how we say them as well, yeah. if you're wondering. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, that is what you get for interbreeding a dog with a cat. So, Oh, hello. Uh, this is Lawrence Brown uh, with Lost in the Pond. Today, uh, on this video, I'm going to be discussing some of those words that Americans so often get us Brits to say um, quite a lot. Now, just to be clear before I go ahead, this is not a video about exclusively British words, but rather words that both Brits and Americans use, but that uh, Americans somehow derive a great deal of humour uh, from when they hear people like me, with my accent, saying them. Basically, and, and, and any Brit that is watching this that has interacted with an American at any point in time will know this to be true. Americans very, very often like to say something along the lines of, I wish I could just stick you in the corner and listen to you speak. Um, which is not a total offense. Now, the first word up here is squirrel, weirdly enough. And this suggestion comes from Stacy in Salt Spring Island, Canada. The word squirrel, I thought nothing of this pronunciation. I just assumed I everybody so. said it pretty I would have thought they would have just all said the same. How squirrel. Do you say squirrel. 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 I'm kind of saying squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. 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 I, squirrel. I squirrel. I think it depends squirrel. where. Squirrel. 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 Let's see. Am I saying? Am I not saying that normally? Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> you sound very. <laughs> Pretty much like I do now. Squirrel. 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 And then I realised how Americans say it, and it's more like squirrel, which kind of sounds like you're pronouncing the word squirrel with a bunch of nuts in your mouth, which is what squirrels do, although they don't talk, so that wouldn't make any sense. Maybe I'm a more, more American than I think. Yeah. <laughs> squirrel. 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 So... Number two is mobile, which comes up a lot in uh, conversations about the differences between British and American English, mainly because, of course, uh, Americans use cell phones, yeah. British people use mobile phones. But that's not where the differences end. In fact, the main difference here uh, in this particular word is the pronunciation of it. And I think that's why Americans are so ready to hear me say it, because I say mobile, as I said. But Americans, they like to say mobile when referring to really? things that move or to the phone. It yeah. Mobile. 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 Yeah. mobile. Oh, that's about it. Mobile. But it took me probably about five years when I moved back <laughs> to not call it a cell phone. Really? Yeah. There's so many words <laughs> that I still use now. I know it's like you and Dad, like when the first, obviously first started here, that I notice a lot of words that you still yeah. say now yeah. that are American. Yeah. It just, that's probably why I catch on to it a lot yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 I still call <laughs> it an elevator. No, no, I call it a lift. lift. Yeah, it's an elevator. An elevator. You have to say it in the accent. It's <laughs> yeah. like an elevator. An elevator. And 
What's that thing where you park your car? <coughs> What's car that park? thing? What a parking lot? No, in next to your house. I don't know. I should say parking lot. Garage. Mm, a garage. You do not say garage. That's what my mum said to me. Mum said you do not call it a garage. Said it's it's a. A, a garage. <laughs> it's a garage. It's, like, it's a garage. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure you say garage. I what? I say garage. Really? Yeah. That garage. would be cool. Let's see. <laughs> itself. Unless you're down in Alabama where there's a city spelt Mobile. exactly the same way, pronounced mobile, and that is why this word makes my brain melt through my nose all the time. <laughs> True story, a few days ago I put out a video of me in the bath and one of the comments after that was <laughs> how do you, you Lawrence, pronounce the word bath <laughs> even though they just... Jesus. <laughs> is, that our next, is that our next reaction? <laughs> <laughs> no, bath. 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 I say bath, bath, but down south they call it bath. 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 Yeah. Up north it's, it's bath. bath. Yeah. Bath. bath. Yeah. I've seen the video in which I pronounce the word bath multiple times. As you can see, I say it as bath, not too dissimilar, in fact, to how most Americans would say it. Um, I think they're expecting me to extend the A like a lot of people in the south do, but I'm from the north and we do things differently in the north. You need to learn that, perhaps, if, if you care to. And so, I, 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 watching the look of disappointment on the face of the odd American, sometimes very odd American, as they ask me to pronounce this, is, is heartbreaking in many ways. Um, I don't say bath, I say bath. But I imagine to all the sort of southern British people that get that question, um, it probably brings an ounce of glee to the American that hears it. So keep doing it, keep doing it. See, there's actually a place in England called Bath, yeah. but people yeah. from there call, call it, it Bath. Bath. Yeah, because yeah. so. it's in the South. Yeah, so exactly. And also there's yeah. certain areas here that people call it Bath. It's like B-A-F, yeah, Bath, 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 Bath. 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 Yeah. Bath. Yeah, so they can ask like the T-H, it's like, Bath, yeah. Bath, Bath. Bath. <laughs> Speaking of Bath, you can't really have a bath without water, unless you're my cats, <laughs> they do that all the time. And as you heard just there, I pronounce it, of course, water, just like most British people. As I pointed out in my last video, uh, the word water and my pronunciation of it can cause a lot of confusion, actually, uh, particularly for waiters that are serving me, when they'll ask me, you know, what do you want for drink? And I'll say, uh, water, what? Water, what? Water, what? <laughs> water! <laughs> do you remember Declan? No, big ball of water. Big ball of water. There you go. What? Like no one had a clue what you said. Even I didn't have a clue. What, what did you say? A big bottle of water. Yeah, big, you, so you always ask for a big bottle of water. If, if, and you just, oh, big bottle. You try to say it in one word. Big bottle of water. Big bottle of water. But the thing is, <laughs> you didn't just say water because then you just get like a glass or a small, and you wanted the big one, like yeah. a liter. So they'd say to you, "What point when you go around? What would I have? I'll have a diet coke. Yeah, big bottle of water." No. <laughs> <laughs> we already knew what he was going to say. Sometimes you just have to order it for him. But yeah. yeah. The only thing about that is some people would probably even pronounce it without the T. Yeah. Water. Water. Yeah. yeah. Water. It depends where you're from. Water. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I'd say water. I'd say water. But it just. I, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> don't know about you. I feel like. You, you feel like I say water? Yeah. I think I do. Yeah. yeah. Water. Water. Maybe I don't say I don't pronounce the T on water. 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 I think it depends who I was around as well. I feel like well. you would probably say water as water. well sometimes. If I said water, water, water. My, mom, my mum would pull me up on it. She's like, there's a tea in it, water. Yeah, you sometimes <laughs> do, do that to me. Because yeah. you have this beautiful <laughs> accent and then now it's just <laughs> common. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, would you like lemon or lime with that, sir? <laughs> just. But it's the more discerning Americans among you that stop me in the street if you recognize me. Still, nobody does. And you, you get me to say that very word until I literally cry all of the water out of my body. Thankfully, I don't drive, so I don't have to deal with this word all that often. And I, I don't own my own house, so I don't have a, an attached um, garage, as I would say. But you know what? Between you and me, this is actually one of those words that I think actually sounds a little less elegant when the British say it. Uh, garage. I'm going to park the car in the garage. Americans do what Southerners in England do with the word bath. Bath. They extend the A. Garage. It's a mouthful, though, the way they say isn't it? Because it's like, I'm going to park the car in the garage. Then I'm going to lift up the boot and the bonnet, and I'm going to check the windscreen to make sure that the indicator is working correctly. None of that made sense, but... I, I don't think they say indicator. No, no. They, don't, they don't say anything, they don't say the, the boot, boot or the, the bonnet, bonnet. Or oh, the, bonnet. Oh, right. the hood and the, the trunk. trunk. 
Yeah. Ah, yeah, it yeah, is. That whole sentence. <laughs> oh, I, I was, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, English. I thought you were saying, like, trying to say American words, but then I yeah, caught and the, and indicator. And, and the indicator. And the indicator is a blink, signal. It's blinker. I, I'd say that. I would say the signal. I thought they called it a blinker. They might do, but I would say signal. No, I would say indicate. Indicator. Well, let's see. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely say indicator. Yeah, yeah. Like, why are you not indicating? Oh, mate, it annoys me. No, why are you not signaling? Every time someone's in front of me and is indicated, like, is your, is your indicator broke? Is, is, have you not got one? <laughs> I'm <laughs> Waving my arms out of the car. Wonder where I, you I just want... From. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> sort of convey what it would sound like if an American started talking about uh, car stuff in, a, in British terminology. Ah, the classic tomato, tomato. You say tomato, <laughs> I say tomato. Well, it's true, actually, yes. Um, I do say tomato. Funny story, I was in Subway once and I was uh, ordering a sandwich, which is generally what you do in Subway. Does this guy live in America or something, yeah. I think? Yeah. yeah, he lives there. Oh, Seems that like, makes yeah, sense. That's yeah. Why he's, yeah, that's why he's got so many stories about it. That's why his American accent's so good. Yes, <laughs> he's picked it Way. up. I think that the sandwich maker had worked out that I was English very early on in the sandwich making process. Probably actually before I even got to the cheese. But we got further down the line and apparently the cogs were turning in her head. She knew, she knew. She was waiting. She was waiting for the moment that I got to t tomato to hear me <laughs> say it that way. But here's a bit of a twist. Um, I'd, I'd been burned so many times on that word here with Americans that I'd actually reverted to saying tomato, kind of like how with water I had to, you know, I did that with tomato as well. So when it came time to tell her to put the tomato on my sandwich, I, I disappointed the crap out of her by saying <laughs> tomato. She tried to charge me extra. <laughs> of course, there's so much more to that song, Tomato, Tomato. Uh, there's the, the second part where it says, uh, you say potato, I say potato. <laughs> I don't say potato. Who the hell Wait. says potato? I was going to say, potato's not a thing. I've no, never heard no. anyone say that. No, but they say... <laughs> because we Why? say tomato, tomato, we should say potato. potato. Yeah. I get that, to yeah. be fair, but <laughs> we don't say potato. No. no. We both say potato, though, don't we? We yeah. say spud. Spud. Potato. But if on that potato with their teas, would they still pronounce it as a day though? Potato? They wouldn't, you know what I mean? They wouldn't. So it's only on some words. Oh, if, I, I don't think anybody in the world says potato, except maybe a kid trying to learn how to say it. Um, even they wouldn't, that's too complex. That's stupid. Whoever wrote that song needs to really think about their linguistic choices in life. Vitamin is great because this is another one where there's like a couple of differences in there. Um, firstly, of course, there is the fact that I pronounce the T and most of you guys don't. You guys meaning Americans. I don't mean to generalize you, but, but I do. But the biggest difference here, of course, is how we pronounce the first I in the word. So as you heard right there, I would say eh, 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 which sounds like an embarrassing sex noise. Um, whereas Americans would say, I, um, they're, they're obsessed with I, it sounds like. I, 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 I. And sticking with food related <laughs> stuff is the word herb. And as you heard just there, I pronounce. You, you, we all say vitamin, don't we? Vitamin, vitamin. Not, did Is you ever it? used to call it vitamin? Vitamin, no, vitamin. Like vitamin. Vitamin. <laughs> but I bet you don't know what this one is, do you? Herb. herb, herb, yeah, the, herb. Herb. the drop, the, we H. Drop the H. Yeah. Which, anything, I think herb sounds more English, like more like yeah, northern. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> it it does, does, like it? the northern version yeah. of herb. Herb. It yeah. sounds like, yeah, it sounds British, herb. 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 Announced it with an H at the beginning, because there's an H there. That's probably something you should do. Although, to be fair, um, this is something that a lot of Americans may not know about us Brits. We often pronounce the word H as H. Yeah. We put an H on the word H, which there isn't one actually, weirdly enough. This is getting all confusing, um, but it's herb. Herb. Although we don't pronounce the R in, in herb, us Brits either, unless you're from the West Country. You might then. <laughs> and you might drop the H. <coughs> It was a nice herb that I put on, <laughs> I don't know, toast. Mm. Why would you put herbs on toast? What am I?
Next up, right on schedule, is the word schedule. Now, I am often goaded into saying this word for Americans. It's quite embarrassing because not only do they giggle, but they tell me that I'm incorrect. And then I can't really rebut them on that. Because if you look at the word historically, um, it actually originates from Greek. And typically speaking, a lot of Greek loan words that begin with uh, S-C-H, like the word school, um, are pronounced sk schedule in this case whereas it's words like schmaltz um, that came from german that get that that kind of sh sound um, so really i think americans I'll, I'll give you this one you win but don't get used to it <laughs> remember you may have won the war of independence but we we reinvaded you with the beatles and harry potter and david beckham and everything cool from england me me right Sophie's found a favourite part yeah. of the video. Yeah. So we need to watch more of these. Yeah. <laughs> well, how would you say schedule? Mm, like schedule. 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 Well, schedule. I, I don't understand yeah. what, what they say in a different way. What? Schedule. Sorry? Schedule. They say schedule. Schedule. Yeah. Schedule. Schedule. So they don't schedule. pronounce the C at no. all. Well, there isn't one that says a C. There is a C. Yeah, but it's a ch. We say schedule. They say schedule. Sh <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know how to say that, don't you? Schedule. Schedule. No, schedule. Sure you schedule. schedule. That doesn't sound right in the slightest. That's what it is. We said schedule. I said schedule. I've only ever heard of schedule ever. All the other mm. ones I've like heard Americans' versions of saying. Like I've never heard of schedule. It's, it's like schedule. the herbs and herbs. Even the, the the actual herbs are different. Like we say basil. Mm. They say basil. Yeah. Uh, really? What do, what is it we say like? Uh, 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 is it like like cilantro? Yeah. That, they they, are, they, they call it see? coriander. Or do we call it coriander? We call it coriander, they, they call, call it cilantro. It cilantro, yeah. yeah. So they have completely different words for some. Yeah, and it's like we call it an, uh, an eggplant. They call it an, an eggplant. They, and we call it a, an uh, aubergine. An aubergine. Yeah. But I feel like because of the eggplant emoji, I don't call it the, like, the aubergine emoji, I call it the eggplant emoji. Yeah. I call it an eggplant, or I wouldn't really, I'd never really see it to I mean, call I it anything. No, it's mm. not something I'd It's not something it. I'd ever have to say. No. <laughs> And finally, this word uh, probably sums up this little fella, um, oh. who I love so much, um, is the word brilliant. I don't know why it is, but Americans really like to hear me say brilliant. When I was working as a supervisor once here in America for a company, um, I was presiding over hundreds of workers and I often said that phrase if they you know did a good job I'm like oh that's brilliant and they would giggle and then they would come back to me the next day and ask me to say it again and again until we got no work done it was the most unproductive time of my life where are you going cat oh okay brilliant but Americans <laughs> don't really sort of say it any differently really I mean I suppose sometimes they might not pronounce the T at the end I think I think they just like the context in which I say it. I have uh, heard Americans start to say it in that context, that something is amazingly good, uh, that it's brilliant. But more often than not, I think Americans use it to mean that someone is brilliant, as in they're quite smart, a brilliance about them uh, intellectually. But what I would advise right now, if you're watching this video, even if you just think my cat is cute and, and, and nothing else is really grabbing you, share this video right now with the words, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Uh, just so that I can get a lot of views on this one. <laughs> That's it for today's episode of Lost in the Pond. Remember, you can subscribe. I wouldn't have thought that brilliant was some of that. They, they would want us to say, or no, that they, they don't use in the they, same they sort use a, terminology. They, they, yeah, they use mm. it in a different context. Yeah. Well, I never knew that. Yeah, but so that we, in English people say that word a lot, I feel. I say it I say it, I say it. I say it. Or like sarcastically, like brilliant. I say, I say it very sarcastically all the time. Yeah. I say that's brilliant or that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. you say fantastic a lot. Yeah. I say fabulous quite a lot. That's fabulous. fabulous. You look fabulous. fabulous. That dress is fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. Who are you talking to? Sophie. <laughs> in my amazing dress. <laughs> Fabulous dress. Comes in in some fabulous little outfits. Ooh. Thank you, Gaynor. You were brilliant. All right, okay. <laughs> Let me cut this short then. All right. <laughs> Before we get out of hand here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. That would be brilliant. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Bye.